Josh, and we hope to welcome you to the ocean of love and sunshine in our lives. The master don't do it for honor and glory. I do it because they love. I love all beings. I still continue to do whatever good for humans and all beings on this planet and other planets as much as I can, regardless, regardless of what they think. Humans have to change, have to improve, have to know what's right, what's wrong, and act on the right thing. The power of thought and desire is very, very, very strong. It will not be deleted with time or space. The negative shadow world, that's why it spreads so fast. Because we desire so many things. So beware of what you want. Beware. Be noble. Think noble. Want only God. Hi, Master. Hi, who is there? This is Tim, Master. Tim. Oh, my friend. <laughs> okay, Tim. It's lovely to see you, Master. You look beautiful. Oh, really? I don't see myself. Yes, <laughs> I don't see myself because the picture is very small in the corner and it's too far. I understand, Master. We can see you very clearly. All right, love. Thank you. I'm glad, you, I'm, glad I'm your taste. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I'm your taste. You are my taste master. You are, you are all of our taste. <laughs> master, um, yeah? may we know um, how many more Tukwo have matured since the last conference, Master? Oh, I, I probably have it somewhere here. Okay, I check out, huh? Oh, thank you, Master. I check out the... the... Oh, okay. There, um, I didn't look recently, but on the 31st of... Uh, Oh, no, it's not. Oh, my God. Whew, some bad thing. It's even 843 trillions of similar Earth like in the shadow universe has been, you know, manifested, has been mature. Wow. And we have how much. That is, a, you know, the shadow universe. Uh, how many universe, how many? I have, um, that was on the first, 31st of March. And now where, where is my stuff? Where is our positive stuff? <laughs> patient, patient. Yes, Master, thank you. You're welcome. I had it somewhere. Oh, man. Mm. How come it's not here? I had it. I thought I had it. And I mark it somewhere for you. Okay, just by the way, I read something here that on the 10th of March, yeah? Hmm. Yes, Master. Such velocity and power, no wonder I must get out of cell fast for my own protection. Thank you all for everything, mundane and spiritual. Love, love. <laughs> that was... Oof. Ah... Forever thanks and love to all phone card of your school for helping me in this trouble planet. Mm. The border between OU and Kuo is not existing, so just pass through, no gate, no frontier, pass through unnoticed. But power is too strong, so can only stay in connection for 26 seconds. That was 18 of 
of March. Oh, just by the way. Oh, I see. <laughs> by the way, I'm passing through. Twenty uh, first, I donate five zillion. Z- I mean ABS. That means zillion, 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 gazillion, gazillion, <laughs> spiritual merit point for world wow. vegan and world peace. Please do transfer to this world the allotted amounts. Thanks a lot for our help. Wow, uh, thank you so much, Master. Yeah, what is this here? I'm sorry, okay, it's been a long time and... Uh, how come I don't... It's no problem, Master, thank you very much. Okay. Um... <laughs> I thought I marked it somewhere. It's not here. Oh, man. (laughs) If I don't uh, find it, I will find it later and update it for you, okay? Yes, Master. Tim Kotu must take care. It's on the 1st of March again. Uh, Mature soon. Tuko has to mature soon, so balance the negative shadow world. It spreads too quickly. Quality word takes time. Shadow words take seven days. (laughs) (laughs) I know that there are more torturous lives than mine, but heavens, it could be less for me. Sometimes the inner pressure is too great for this little instrument of a temple. Ah, uh, that's not for you, is it? <clears throat> God, where are you? Truly without grace, this is on the 14th of April, truly without grace from your school, the earth would have gone. Thanks all councils for love and helping me to do this. Okay, huh? Uh, thanks heaven, I'm not blocked anymore to your school knowledge of Pusu. More words to compare to English. That was 16 of oh, April. Wow. Oh, probably a little bit afterwards. Okay, that was too 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 far behind, I guess. Ah, okay, we are already. Uh, <laughs> we are already. Um, already September, ne? Okay. Yes, master. Ninety-four gazillions and gazillion of spiritual merit points from my reservoir to be donated to the earth and the world for peace, love, and kindness to all beings. I think you know that already, right? Yeah. Thank you very much, Master. I think I told you that. Just by the way, I'm... But where is that? It's a pity that beings here are not aware of the connecting point to the central vortex of the shadow universe even even though less powerful, can uplift them and make them happy. It's right there, built in, in the the middle of the forehead. I'm trying to look, okay. So it must be July or something, right? Okay. Your question spring to other questions, huh? Yes, Master. <laughs> you still want to wait or you want to ask something else? Uh, Master, we, we're happy to wait, Master. Okay. It's... Just funny. Just why is so funny? Okay. Oh, well. Here. I have it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Master. Okay. On the 30th... Anything else before that? Okay, uh, on the twin, I'm just reading some before I forgot, whatever, yeah? Oh, I donate to Israel, Palestine, Russia, and Ukraine. 
so that wow. they might have more peace. You know, a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't want to mention it anymore. Wow, thank you so much, Master. Just to let you know, I hope they really take it and wake up. Uh, on the 22nd of July, it's terrible, heart-wrenching to see people injured, even babies in war. What the hell is world? So much donation still bleeding around. What kind of race of beings that enjoy hurting, killing each other and feel proud of that? Such a game of war. The saints can only shake their heads in despair and sorrow. I even say here to the leaders, stop at all, stop supporting war in any form, start yes, creating sir. happiness and peace, or heavens will not relent on any of the leaders. Whoever creates pain will reap it. <sighs> At the end, huh? uh, I donate for veganism on earth, hundred gazillion of gazillions of spiritual merit points for earthling to become a vegan eater. Okay. And even wow. don donate, Master. donate to Libya, 860 million spiritual merit points for peace. My God, I don't even earn fast enough. Okay. Continue. Oh, I got it here. Oh, God, I keep donate for Libya again and again. You know, and, and Syria, Syria and uh, uh, what's the name of that? Russia and Ukraine, blah, blah, blah. Yes, Master. <sighs> and donate newborn baby for Paolo 6,000. Oh, this is not... This is not Reno family, 8,400. Ah, this is not. This is just a physical thing. Ah. Instructed China's relief is not for you. Oh, maybe here it is. Donation. Oh, for all my dogs. <laughs> okay, I found it. Uh, um, on the 5th of March, or August, 400 million to, to mature soon so beings here oh, can wow. have peace one year it's, it take me one year of work for that oh wow and in order for 3 billion to to be mature so that animals will have more peace that take 5 years oh. of work but that is only the existing animals there will be new ex new newborn animals and all that and they have to continue you know Yes, Master. I have to continue to donate and... Oh, that's it. Not, it's not mature too, is it? No, no? Then where is... Oh, I thought it is. But it's still never enough. Because uh, th this quality things take time, as I wrote before. Yeah? Yes, Master. Here, donate to Russia again. Oh, and Ukraine again. Uh, okay. Oh, this one on the 2nd of September, you know what happened? No, Master. I was in trouble. Oh. Uh, I wrote here on the 2nd of September, I got to recover fast. Hope I will be okay. Because I lingered two seconds longer. I forgot the time, you know? And I got such a terrible headache. Lucky Will. Oh. I went out in a, in a split second. Uh, what is this? Me? Safe from fifth? Uh, sleep outside in the tent. <laughs> it's okay now. After Kwan Yin for a while, still need more repair the brain to the brain because he was too shocked with high spiritual voltage. Never, never go out late again from the spiritual merit point. Ah, uh, spiritual point. 
you know, connecting point, divine connecting wow, point. Wow, yes, Master. I said never again. We hope you're okay, Master. I'm okay, I'm okay. Whew. I'm okay. It was, it was, it was, I kind of forgot the time, you know. Mm. I understand, Master. Yeah, I didn't do it on purpose. I say not on purpose. I wrote it even, not on purpose. <laughs> Ah, yes. Wow. But you know a little bit of what I do, that's all, huh? Mm. Yes. All right. Master, we're so glad yes? to see that you're okay, Master. I'm okay now, I'm okay. It was a long time ago, no? September what? September 2nd, S- eh? Yes, Master. 2nd, yeah. Se- yes, Master. Yeah, today is September uh, 17th uh, already, no? 15th, Master. No, 16th. It's the 15th, Master of September. Oh, 15th, 15th. 15th, yes, okay. Master. 15th. Today I didn't write any diary, so I forgot the time. I forgot the date. It's okay now. Yesterday, I yesterday I passed uh, one thousand zero hundred thirty-two mg ga ga tu. Wow. Ga mean gazillion of gazillion, and mg mean <laughs> million of gazillion. Okay, I have to wow. write shorter now. Master, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, now I write in MG and Gazil- Gaga. Yes. <laughs> like, yes, you're going Gaga. <laughs> so funny, if you read my diaries, it look funny. Yeah. It's more convenient than way, Master. Yeah, I have to meditate sometime next, next to a garbage can or any, anywhere as long as there's a connection. Okay, people would sit in yes, a master. special holy corner or in a church or in a temple. I sit next to a garbage can. <laughs> wow. Uh, sometime, not, not every time. Huh? It depends on when. And... I understand, Master. Okay, any more? Yes, Master. Thank you so much for all the blessing you, you have given for our planet, Master, in this time. Thank you very much. We appreciate it so much. You're welcome. That's a continuing work. I, I don't always tell you, huh? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, Master. Just by the Master, way. W- yes. would we be able to know if more Tukwa are matured, would this help our world to become more positive? Um, yes, surely. Without it, our world would have been gone. Oh, yes, Master. I understand. From so much calm and so much desire, this disaster and so much, uh, uh, you know, uh, climate uh, problem. Yes, Master. I, I know it looked bad now, but it could have been worse if, if the EOS could didn't work. It didn't help. And if, if the not so many Tukwa has been mature, you know, okay? Yes, for, Master. For balancing the, the scale of negative and positive. I'm very grateful, you know, I mean... <laughs> So many souls have been saved and the world has been saved. It's not the, the perfect world yet and not, but at least it's, at least it's still there. Hmm? Yes, Master, thank you very much. We're so grateful for, for that and, and for your, your work and EOSCAR to, to help uplift our planet. I'm grateful to all the EOSCAR phone cat. Yes, Master. Master, may we know how many more Tukwo may need to be matured for our planet to achieve world peace? Oh, take a lifetime, baby. My lifetime. I probably have to continue working until I die. Oh, Master. Then maybe. You see, humans have to change. Not, yes, not just relying on heaven because... You know, like even if your parents are professor in the university and you are a student in high school even, you still have to do your homework. You still yes, have to learn in school and do your homework. You can't just rely on your professor parents. This is the thing. The parents can help you, yes, but you yourself <laughs> must grow up, must learn for your own. Yes, Master. Your own wisdom, your own knowledge. Yeah, this is the thing. Human is a kind of slow to wake up because they have been, you know, kind of blindfolded and <sighs> cheated, truly cheated into an incorrect way of living. That's why. And they've been fed with so many things that is not good for their uh, intelligence as well as divine wisdom. Okay? Yeah. Yes, Master. Understand. Thank you so much. Welcome. Master, um, 
may, may we, we know how many um, more Tukwa may be needed to mature to achieve world uh, vegan on our planet, Master? Oh, I haven't counted yet. My God, it's not mathematically like that. I told you also. Yes, I understand. First of all, it's difficult to predict human behavior because they have free will. Yes. And they influence yes, each other by their own behavior and by their own habits or background or by their sometimes uh, not correct um, concept about life and about what's right, what's wrong. And also sometimes they're also damaged, you know, by different, different things that they've been taking since they were a child yes, or their master. DNA. Or then also the negative power also keep whispering in their ears about many things that they shouldn't do, but they do it. You see what I mean? Because they are not strong enough spiritually, so they easily be swayed by all kinds of things, as social influence, uh, family influence, you know, peers influence, and above all, negative influence. The astral people keep coming, going, and make trouble in our world. Oh. Yes. The hell people... Near hell people sometimes, they have a break and then they just sneak up. Yes? Okay? Yes, Master. Oh, or, they have this, or they have this affinity to sneak up because some of their so-called friends in this world, you know, before they die, before they went to hell, they are friends in this world, they befriend some and then they come back and then they influence them. For example, like that, all the dead relatives come back and influence them. They don't have to come back long. They can be just a few minutes, you know. If they're allowed to come up, they can be influenced. A few minutes is enough for people to kill people, for war oh. to break out. Yes, to break out, so for disaster to happen, all kind of things. This is a bad situation for all of us. Hmm? Okay. Yes, Master, of course. And humans also have free will, and they also exercise it not always in the correct manner, okay? Because they are influenced. Yes, Master. I told you, they're influenced. Or they're not well in their mind or in their heart. Yes, Master. Yeah. Due to drug, you know, yeah, eating wrong things, all kind of thing. Yeah, okay. Yes, Master. Yes, yes. Some of the tragic tolls of addictive drug abuse over 200,000 deaths each year, costs of 181 billion US dollars each year in the United States, 33 billion US dollars in the UK. Lifetime cost of current drug addiction amounts to 575 billion US dollars in the UK. Over 100 British children each week call a hotline to express concern about their parents' drug and alcohol use. Harmful effects, brain damage with mental and emotional losses, stroke, heart disease and irreversible damage, liver disease, tuberculosis, emphysema, cancer, depression, suicide, permanent memory loss, mental illness, higher infant mortality, increased crime and violence, impotence. Crime and violence. Illegal drugs are a factor in 50% of burglaries in the United Kingdom each year. In the U.S., 60% of people arrested each year have been taking illegal drugs. 650 heroin addicts in the U.S. committed 70,000 crimes in a three-month period. Social costs. U.S. businesses lose 100 billion U.S. dollars per year due to employees' drug and alcohol abuse. Australians pay 53 billion U.S. dollars per year for health care, law enforcement, and lost productivity of drug users. Environmental costs. Every gram of cocaine produced destroys 4.4 square meters of rainforest, with 300,000 hectares of rainforest lost each year to cocaine production. Death. 52 people die each day due to drugs in the U.S. In Canada, substance abuse is attributed to 21% of total deaths and 23% of potential life years lost due to early mortalities. Plus more. Subsidize and convert the drug industry into vegetable organic farming. For help quitting, please visit the following websites. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Drug begins with ignorance and frustration of the young people 
of our age. Because many of the organizations sometimes have failed in satisfying their spiritual need for the higher meaning of life, more than just material. Because material today we don't we don't lack. Therefore they they are charmed, they are seduced into taking drugs because in taking drugs sometimes they can have hallucination and feel uh, comforted for a very short time. But little did they realize the very grave consequence after that. Therefore meditation is the best way to relieve all this suffering of the people when they want to know God, they want to know happiness inside because our happiness through meditation, through the light and the music of heaven, is everlasting and is always improved and always uh, more and more happiness and never have any consequence like the drug. If we can propagate more uh, the meditational benefit, then the drug uh, uh, effect on people will be less and they, they, they will understand where to turn to for a longer lasting happiness. So, Master, we won't be able to know how long it would take you to um, achieve world vegan on our planet through the upliftment of, of Tukwa and, and the development of, of our own uh, planet here, Master. I wish I, I can tell you. Yes, but, Master. But Maybe. that would be just like hocus pocus, you know? <laughs> yes, I understand, Master. I tell you everything is the truth, Okay. Yes, I, I cannot just try to impress you or boast about things which is not true. So that is like that, okay? Like the parents, the professor parents can only help to a certain extent, but the child has to learn and improve, okay, for himself. Humans have to improve, have to know what's right, what's wrong, and act on the right thing, okay? Mm. Yes, Master. I cannot keep eating for everybody else. Hmm? Yes, I understand, Master. Mm, all right. I wish I could. You see, how many Master has come down? They tell all kinds of right things, but people sometimes twist it or use it for their own purpose because they're ambitious, or because they are power hungry, or because they also misunderstand. Hmm? Okay? Because they're not yes, enlightened master. enough to understand the word of the master. Or is it too inconvenient for them to act out the word of yes, the master? master? Yes. They just do what they want or interpret it, the word of the past master, to suit themselves. All right. Sorry. Sorry about that. So at least you know what to do. At least you, your guys, you guys have been taught what's right, what's wrong, and you keep to it. And I'm glad about that. Okay, for you. Yes, Master, and we're very grateful for that, for the opportunity to learn and, and... For you and your brother and sister, you know, there and out there, outside, yeah. Okay, we do what we can, yeah, okay? Yeah, all right. Okay. Yes, Master. Thank you very much, Master. You're welcome, my love. Hi, Master. Hi, Tao. <laughs> Yes, Master. Okay. Last time you mentioned that you have to wait three or seven days or more in between entering higher OU or higher Tukwa. Mm -hmm. What do you do during this waiting period? Do you eat or do you just rest? I just sleep all day, all night. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> you wish, huh? No, no. I do other things. I meditate also, you know, uh, dutifully as usual. It's just not in the powerful connection area. Yes, because the, the, the cells, the body cells need to recover, need to rest, need to uh, incorporate and need to send it out also some to the world and to the universe. Understand? I need time. Yes, Yes, Master. At that time. But I do all the things. I do everything else. Hmm? Yes, Master. Right. Master, we pray you are safe and healthy. Thank you. I try very hard. I see. How, Master, how are beings in Tukwa created? And how long does it take for them to grow up? Instead of being in a mother's womb, are they like a tiny dot of light that 
grows bigger and bigger? Oh, well, it's, uh, I know, it's difficult to, it's not like that. It's, in some of the lower world, in the shadow universe, uh, people are grown with, by the lotus or by, you know, any other mean, uh, even mechanical mean or, you know, <laughs> kind of machinery. But nothing in this world that we can understand about that. But in Tukuo, it doesn't grow like that, okay? It's like uh, in the beginning, maybe it's a big, massive, huge, great, immense uh, mass of energy, brilliant energy, and then it kind of splash out, you know? And then each individual uh, part of this energy will stay dormant for a long, long time. Uh, 800 something, uh, I wrote it here somewhere. Oh, it's a bottle. A long, long time, huh? Long, long time until it mature. Mm, I have written somewhere here. Can you be patient? Yes, Master. I, I think I have written, but where is it? Oh, man. Is it not in August? Is it? it should be in September. <laughs> Time passed so quick. Time passed so quick, I don't remember. I, I just want to say the exact number, otherwise it's... Uh, I could say approximately, but it's better to tell you the exact number. I can't remember, okay? <laughs> There's so many things I have to, to write it down before I forgot. Because I wrote something together with it, you know, not just that. So I want to, yes, to read it to you. I just saw it and now it's gone. I remember writing something together with it. So I have to read it. You have time, yeah? Yes, we do, Master. No choice, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oh, woman, what are you doing? <sighs> I just saw it just now, <laughs> before, before you asked me this question. Because I wrote so many things here, you know, something has uh, not uh, for you, so so I lost it in the in the jungle of my writing. Mm -hmm. Cannot be. Hmm. Not much is going on in September, so it must be then in August. Okay. I forgot what I have written with it, so I have to check it out. Okay, I can't believe it. It's all gone. I don't know where. Oh, God. I lost it. If I find it again, I will update you, okay, huh? Yes, Master. Sufficient to say it is a long, long time, you know, like 800,000 something zillions of zillions in order of 
or billions in order for it to mature. Wow. But then you can uh, empower it to make it faster. You understand? Okay? Yes, Master. Oh, next time I will, uh, I will probably have to, <laughs> uh, like, uh, tape something on it, yeah? So that it's easy to find. Yes, Master. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, anything else? Um, Sorry. Master, what is the process of evolution for the beings in Tukwa? For example, do they evolve and become, and become goddesses? Oh, they, they are originally the seed of goddesses, yeah? And when it matures, that means they are, have enough power to be goddesses, just like any other uh, original universe. Yes, Master. Right? I see. The same like original universe, when they mature, they accumulate and they develop the power. They, they keep absorbing, you know, and developing until they become or you, and just like other goddesses, okay? Same, same like the or you that I told you. Yes, Master. But it's very difficult to tell all this in uh, our language, okay? Yes, Master, we understand. Yeah. Yes, baby, anything more? Oh, uh, that's it for me, Master. Okay. Thank you, Master. You're welcome, Tao. Anyone else? Hi, Master. Hi. Who is there? Hi, this is Dennis. I'm Hi. new here, Master. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Um, very good, Master. I'm very happy to be here. Master, I have a question. Uh, since our last conference, are you able to eat less and still be able to enter higher OU or Tukuo? Oh, uh, well, almost the same, and but it's faster for me now. I will only need to uh, to space out maybe some hours, you know, around ten hours, nine hours, ten hours instead of many days, and I can enter another uh, divine connection point again to go to Tukuo. Yeah, faster now, not three days, seven days, but nine nine hours, ten hours. Yeah, in between the session, okay? That's great, Master. And I eat uh, similar, okay? Same. I see, Master. Yeah. Master, we know that it is important for you to eat and have a full stomach before you meditate. But yeah. um, every time I see you, you look so beautiful. So <laughs> I was wondering, how come you don't gain weight even though you eat a lot? Oh, why? Uh, if you eat a lot, you're not beautiful? <laughs> you mean I'm not fat? You are always beautiful, Master. <laughs> well, what mean eat a lot? Eat a lot, it, it, it's a relative term, you know? For, for somebody who doesn't really like to eat, it's a lot, whatever it is, it's a lot. And especially, I have to eat when I don't want to. In the, any, any hours, you know, even two, three o'clock in the morning, I have to wake up and force myself to eat. And then, and then you know, it, it seems a lot. But luckily, without two core having to work, then I can space it out and I don't need to eat then in between. I don't need to eat then. But sometimes, you know what I mean? When you don't want to eat and then you have to eat at that time, or you don't want to eat at all, and then you have to force yourself to eat for some reason. Then it seems a lot, but I don't eat that a lot, a lot. And I eat uh, uh, maybe healthy food, that's why, huh? Yeah, I see, Master. Okay. Master, yes? uh, what kind of diet would you recommend as the best diet? Okay, well, we have a lot of uh, programs on the Supreme Master television before, and we uh, let all the experts to tell you about what uh, their diet could be and which one is good and why, why, why. So you can choose any of them. Hmm? Hmm. I see, Master. For me, I, I prefer, I think the raw program is mostly better for everyone. But you don't have to be so fanatically raw if you can't, because if you do that, then maybe you drop out. 
You understand? So understand maybe you can really start well. a little bit raw or more raw than usual. And then slowly, if you want, then you can go all raw. Otherwise, you can go half, half or two third raw, one third, whatever your favorite. Okay. Yes. yes master. Because uh, especially for people who don't meditate at all or don't meditate a lot, they should eat more raw. You know why? No, master. Why? Okay. Because the raw food, they have more light in them. Oh. It's still, still live. So when you eat the raw food, you mm, take some more light into your body, you know, this uh, inert body. So at least you have some light. Okay? That's why the raw food is good. But uh, the people who meditate a lot, uh, they can turn anything into light. Hmm? Kapish? Yes, I understand, Master. So if you don't meditate a lot, and if you don't meditate at all, the people, anybody there, then should eat more raw, should get more light into the body. Like this, the body can sustain better, at least for the health. Or more light means more intelligence. Yeah? More intelligence and more wisdom. And more health, yeah, more happiness. That's what it is. Okay? Yeah, for me, I, I prefer to eat, uh, I don't know, I just choose this, uh, you know, the a juice system. Yes, okay? Yes, Master. Because you just have a blender and then whatever you want, you just put it in there, you know, like a piece of cucumber, some apple, and, and I grow some, uh, some sprouts, you know, like uh, quinoa sprouts very fast. And uh, mung bean sprouts, and uh, what, what else oh, I, I grow? Uh, what else? I oh, God, tell me. Alfalfa. Alfalfa sprout and uh, uh, lentil. lentil sprouts. <laughs> Sunflower seeds, sprouts, I sprouts, whatever I can. And then I sprout so much, I just put some sprout in the blender together with like... Uh, uh, you know, those are peaceful food. And some of the green uh, wheatgrass uh, powder, yes. If you don't have uh, uh, fresh, then I put powder. And some of these uh, omega-6, 12, whatever you can buy, yeah, from uh, from the uh, flax seeds and stuff, yeah. You, you can see it on internet, what is good for you, okay? Yes, Master. For example, today, what did I put in my blender? Uh, I put some uh, uh, rucola. You know rucola? It's also called rocket in in English. Okay, rucola. Rucola. R U C O L A. Rucola. And I put a, um, a handful in there, and then I put some sprouts. You know, today I have some sprout left. Um, uh, that's uh, lentil sprouts. Blonde lentil sprouts, which I grow about 10 days ago, but I don't eat that much, so it lasts a long time. And I discovered that if you don't cover the, the pot that you grow the sprout in, you just cover it with a net. And every two, three days, you put it in the fridge. After it sprout, you put it in the fridge with a net on it so that you have air. But first you have to dry, you have to turn it upside down so that all the water go out through the net into the sink or something. And then you put it in the fridge every two, three, maybe three, four, five days, whatever. You rinse it again if it's still there and turn it upside down so all the water come out. So the, the sprouts still continue growing and fresh, but it doesn't uh, get rotten that quickly. Uh, but it depends. The alfalfa uh, lasts a little longer than the quinoa. The quinoa you have to eat fast, otherwise no matter if you rinse, it still go a little sour. But still you still can eat. Mung bean lasts also long. Uh, for sometimes the, the, what's the name of that? Sunflower seed doesn't last that long. And, you know, chickpeas, they don't, they don't stay fresh that long. Yeah. So you eat them first and then the, the eat the quinoa first and, and the monk, the alfalfa first and then the chickpeas first and the sunflower seed. You know, whatever, they go a little bit sour fast. You eat them first and then you eat the other sprout later on. Hmm? Sprouts is a very good system. You can, yeah, you go everywhere and you can have them. They are really fresh, vegetable, and also protein at the same time. Like quinoa is a complete protein. And lentils, they're all proteins. And mung beans, they're all protein. And you also have vegetable together with it, you know, by sprout. 
Yes, master. So you 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 really have a lot <laughs> in in the sprouts uh, because I because I travel back and forth. Sometimes I have to run. I don't have time to go buy vegetable. Yeah, and the fruit you can also put together with it so that to make it tastier. You see, like for example, the green powder or green wheat grass juice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, master. And that that people make juice. Not not the wheat that like you smoke. <laughs> yes, master. And uh, if you you taste it alone, it don't taste good, yeah. But if you put it together with fruits, you know, vegetable and fruit juice, and and other fruit, and you blend it into thick juice or a little thinner juice, then you drink it fast and easier and it's tasty. So it makes you drink it. If you drink alone a green juice, you don't want to. Or if you take alone, like how you say. Uh, Mm, what's in it? Maybe see wheat or something. It doesn't taste nice if if it's alone. But if you mix with fruit and other vegetable and even rucola, it tastes so great the the taste of it. Yeah. Or you put coriander leaves in it and other you know maybe uh, herbs. Then it tastes great, and then you would like to. You see, and it's nutritious for you. Okay. Yes, master. I just put whatever I need in there, and whatever I don't like, I put it in there together. Then <laughs> I drink it. But the problem is, I'm not, um, I'm not in a position just to take that because sometimes I take that already, and the Eosco told me, no, that's not enough for me to go and sit in the divine connection point because the power is too strong. I need more solid food, so I had to. Force myself to eat something else, you know, more more substantial, you know, like maybe bread or maybe toast, maybe uh, some, you know, something like that or rice. That is a problem. That's the only problem. Otherwise, okay, yeah. But at least, yes, master. Yeah, at least I already take first the juice. Yeah, the the mixture of these fruits, vegetable juice, all vitamin, live everything in there first. Yeah. And then afterward, I force myself to eat other things in order to go meditate. But only before I go meditate. Otherwise, I eat anything I want. You know, just juice. You know, a vegetable mix in the blender is good enough for me. Yeah, it feel it feel good. It feel enough. Not not hungry yes. afterward. Okay, thank you. Thank you, master. So you choose what you want. Okay, you choose what kind of a diet that is suitable for you. Hmm? Yes, master. Yes. You choose any kind of of diet as long as vegan, suitable for you. Yeah, but uh, a little more raw. The more raw, the better for you. Okay, but it you you will feel better. But if you don't, then just eat what you feel like as long as it's vegan, huh? And more environmentally friendly. And you try to eliminate what is less environmentally friendly. And you you choose more. Nutritious, more healthy for you. You keep doing slowly until you arrive what you want, until you arrive to the diet that you want. Yeah. Yes, master. Otherwise, I don't eat anything breatharian. <laughs> <laughs> Less trouble, the least trouble. Okay. <laughs> yes. Master. But uh, you have to 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 listen to your body. Okay. Mm. Yes, master. Don't force the issue too too quickly. The body not used to it, and then you you might not feel well, and then you drop it. Do it gradually. Yes. Thank you, Master. Um, Welcome. During your meditation, are you able to pass Tukwa even more quickly now than before? Yeah, yeah. I told you before. Oh. If quick, quicker. Yeah, and uh, uh, less time in between. Um, but I still need uh, uh, some time. Just similar system like the first. Sitting it would be maybe more than 10 minutes, and then the next one would be half of that. And the last, maybe a third, it would be just a few seconds, maybe two seconds, or one and a half seconds, depends on how powerful that one is. So I have to really sit there, quickly do, do my ritual to, to absorb it, as well as to spread it out for the universe, just some symbolic gesture, and then run. <laughs> Sometimes I don't have time to do that. <laughs> okay, and I do it after. Got it? Yeah? Okay? Mm. Yes, Master. Mm. What else? Uh, that's all for me, Master. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Next. 
Yes, master. Hello. How are you, master? Hello, I'm okay. Is that Olivia? Yes, master. Olivier. Olivio. <laughs> okay, good. How are you? Comment ça va? Ça va très bien, master. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Um, master, my, my question is, um, you are able to take care of zillions of gazillions of tuku or even more, and sometimes in as short as only two seconds. It's, it's really amazing for us, but um, for us it's hard to imagine. Um, from the outside, it would seem like you just took a long blink. Um, so, Master, how are you able to travel through all those gazillions of tuku and yet be in meditation for only a few seconds here on Earth? Is it because the time is relative and two yeah. seconds on Earth are actually much longer in the yeah. original universe? Yes. Uh, well, this is just the thing that says that uh, in this world don't exist because we... Humans' language uh, cannot uh, describe, and humans' uh, mind is difficult to grasp. Anything is possible in the higher world. You see what I mean? I see. Yes. For yes, example, master. even in the shadow universe, people don't travel with cars like <laughs> us, with pollution, <laughs> you know, petrol and stuff. They just zoop, go. Wow. With their thought. Yeah, even to the lower, lower shadow world, they do that. Yeah, and here we cannot imagine. We need car, we need petrol, we need airplane, we need train, we need boat. We cannot imagine just anybody just want to go anywhere, just say, okay, I want to go. Just like that. In a few seconds, you arrive in destination or a few minutes. You see what I mean? Depends on how far. Yes, Master. Yeah. Even the UFO stuff, uh, this thing even physically uh, evidence to some people, but we also cannot grasp this kind of concept, okay? Mm. Yes, Master, I understand. Yes. Many things that we cannot understand because we have a limited human brain. Hmm? Human mind is not uh, capable of understanding all the things in the universe, okay? Yes, Master. When Einstein was alive, he, he has many things to tell human, but not many people understand. It. They do understand intellectually, but they could not really realize it. Okay? Yes, Master. Even then, <laughs> even then. Not to talk about the universe that is high, high above any other universe that you could imagine or could travel to. By the way, just I forgot now, you asked about food. But remember to, to eat a little bit, you know? At least uh, one hour or something, or half an hour, one hour before you meditate, in case you stumble into some of this uh, spiritual blessing line or something which is too strong for you. Understand? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Master. And that's already too strong. Not to talk about the divine connection points. Is out there. They are completely out of imagination. Uh-huh. Okay? I see. Yeah. Thanks for the tip, Master. You're welcome. Yeah, I told you last time, but I, I thought I'd tell you again. Yes, Master. Very useful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't eat full, though. Just 70, 80 percent is good enough. Something, okay? Mm. Yes, Master. To add, up, to add up more cells into your body. Because our body has limited cells and sometimes maybe not enough to absorb all this power. Okay? You absorb it through the food to the cells of the vegetable and food. And then slowly it will disseminate into your body. Huh? Okay? Oh, wow. And then you keep it, and then your body has more light. And then you can help yourself and the world around you. I see. Yeah. I understand, Master. <laughs> That's why many masters in the past, they do eat. Okay? Jesus did eat. Buddha ate. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he ate. Um, Master Krishna ate. And uh, Mahavira, yeah, everyone. Okay? Otherwise, yes, Master. True. otherwise, even maybe they don't know about Tukwa, but otherwise they would intuitively or be told by heaven to continue with their uh, nutrition diet, you know, physical nutrition. Otherwise, they would not have been able to absorb too much of the light and energy in order to distribute into the world around them and help themselves and help the disciples. Okay? Yeah. Yes, Master. Hmm. Master, I was wondering um, if there was um, anything equivalent to the sun in Ioske, 
And if so, is there day and night over there? No, no. <laughs> they, don't, <laughs> <laughs> they don't have such thing like in our world, okay? Not like that. There's no concept about that. And they don't need to sleep. <laughs> they don't need to, to see the sun. There's always brilliance, always brilliance. And they don't feel any discomfort if there's always brilliance. For us, if there's always brilliance, we feel tired, yes? Like, uh, yes, like if we always look into the sun or always stay all day in the daytime, then we feel tired and we need the night, we need darkness to sleep, to rest. The body needs to rest. The soul needs to recover and go out somewhere and recover, come back. <laughs> Or stay in the body, but recover. Hmm? Okay? Yes. Okay, Master. This world is very uh, oppressive for the soul. So we need uh, day and night and sleep. Most people like that. But in, in the original universe or two world, they don't have such thing. They're completely different from us. <laughs> they don't need to eat. They don't need to sleep. They don't need anything like that. It's, it's very difficult to... to to understand what it is there, okay? This is so interesting, Master. Ah, uh, yes, it is. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you for sharing, Master. I wish I could share more, but I'm short of language here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Um, Master, whenever you have a, a mission on a physical planet like Earth, does that mean you are absent from the original universe during that time? Uh, for example, in this lifetime, where, were you absent from the original universe all this time until this year that you are able to travel back to the OU inside? No, no I, I'm here and also there, okay? Oh. Uh, the body is here, but there's a connection with the soul or with the great cell, okay? I'm not okay, absent master. anywhere. <laughs> and um, Master, since you are omnipresent in, in all the levels in our shadow universe, yeah. um, I was wondering why would gods and goddesses wish to come down to our planet just to have a glance at you in the physical form? Um, master, don't they already see you in glorious forms in heaven? Yes, some do. Yes. But many of your uh, brother and sister also saw me in their living room, in their house, and they still want to see me physically. <laughs> <laughs> true, Don't... Master, that's true. So, why? <laughs> I, understand, I understand. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's different. Yes, also, it is. Also, not all the high gods come down, okay? The gods that come down here are rarely from beyond fifth level. Okay, so... Any gods who come down here mostly are from third level, four level, okay? Just sometimes they come to see me because they like to be near the energy, even in physical body. The energy is comfortable for them, number one. Number two, they want to help or they want to protect or just, just purely love or just pure love sometimes, okay? Yeah. Yes, Master. You know, the, also the reason why the gods and goddesses want to come down to see a master, because it's also a, a rare phenomenon that any master came onto any planet, okay? Some planet are completely without any master of any level at all. And they just, and if they want to come down to see a master on the planet, it's more individual, you see? You can be near the master alone by yourself. But even in a higher level of consciousness, you can see the master, but not so individual, not so personal. I understand, master. You have to be in a group where you sit somewhere in the hall and the master came and give lecture and all that, you know, or some uh, blessing or some instruction, but not like on our planet on an individual basis. That's why sometimes they come just to see also. I see, master. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. The uh, Ihasku goddesses don't have to come here to see me. They can see me. Okay, Master. For example. All right. All right, Olivia. All right. Thank you very much, Master. Welcome, my love. Master, why does the shadow universe spread so quickly? Yeah, because it's easier to make cheap things. Because humans' desires and greed and 
you know, wrong concept is endless. That's why any time we we want things, it manifests itself. Okay, and it needs more universe to manifest your desires, so that after you leave this world, you can go there and get what you desire, whatever you want. It will come to you at the end. In the Quran, there is a verse that say that、um, those who kill for Allah can go to heaven. Master, could you please share your thoughts on this? Ah,、uh, yeah, yeah, yes, ah,、uh, yes.、Uh, by the way, I have checked on it with heaven. I, I went to the archive. Oh. Of the second world to check out what is written in the Quran, I mean,、oh, wow. truly written. What is truly from the Prophet? Please tune in to part three of five of this video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai, titled "Be Noble, Think Noble, and Want Only God," airing at a later date on SupremeMasterTV.com. To be notified when the next part is available, subscribe at suprememastertv.com/newsletter. Be vegan, make peace.